All right, it's starting now. Hey guys, what's up? Perfect Welsh here for a little bit. You know, how are we doing today? Pretty good indeed. I'm good. Uh, but I wanted to do a, you know, cameo for Star Wars The Jedi Fallen Order, right? Yep. Yeah. So, I've heard this game was pretty good. A lot of people have told me a lot of good things about it. And I've seen a lot of gameplay, and I've not really played it for myself, but, you know, you've beaten it, you said it's good, so I probably should give it a try someday, yeah. perhaps. Yeah, it's a game that takes a while to beat, but at the end of it, there has Dark Feeder in it, too. Yeah. And also... I really do like the, uh, you know, when it comes to Star Wars games, my favorites were always the Super Star Wars games on Super Nintendo. Those games are legendary. And then I think after that, it would be the uh, N64 Star Wars games, you know, like the Pod Racer. Yeah. Those are good. It is a pretty good game, though. Freaking, it's got some very good mechanics, like Titanfall, you climbing on walls and shit and grabbing on the vines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's better than Battlefront 2 for fuck's sakes. Oh yeah, way better. Because the respawn, they took their time with it and EA had no choice to release the scheme. So. Yeah. But I'm glad people are enjoying this game and having fun with it. You know, because fun with the video game, that's all that matters to a lot of people, and that's fine. Yeah. That's good. Anything else you gotta say? I think that's all I gotta say. Okay. That is it. See you people later. Bye. Peace. Welcome back to Retro Modern Gamers, and this is your host, Killer J here, and today, yes. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. So, we're back with another video game review. This is a very good game. I actually, I actually enjoyed it so far. The more I'm playing of it, it's actually pretty fun because you also can like do real different lightsabers. You can actually get two two lightsabers rolls and equipping together and just freaking go crazy here. This game is fucking amazing. I like it there. This game here is a really addicting game, and I started to play it like no other. I can't stop playing it there. It's it's a good thing because it's you know I'm not playing MK11 right now. I'm just playing this there, and it's actually one of the actual funner Star Wars games I've played ever. Because the last Star Wars game I think I played might have long like when I was younger was uh, it might have been Star Wars Revenge of the Sith on the old school Xbox, but this one, going back to Star Wars after a while, I haven't played any Star Wars games in years. For this one here, actually, it's a very good game. You know, the graphics are pretty good, nicely detailed. And the gameplay is like Uncharted there. You got freaking climbing on vines, walking, climbing on vi vines, swinging to place to place. You also got some wall running from Titanfall, which is, this is made by the same people that made Titanfall, Respawn Entertainment, which, by the way, is a very good developer. They made Titanfall 2, which was a very underrated single player campaign. This one here. Respawn Air Chain, what, what they did with this game, they fucking did it, they hit all the ballpark. They did a great job with it. This is one of the few games I actually played in 2020. Yeah, I know it came out last, came out in 2019, but I got a chance to play it just now, and holy fuck is it amazing. You're just fucking balls so well, insane gameplay here. Holy fucking shit, just. It makes, uh, makes you want to play more of this game because this game is addicting, and it's pretty awesome because I like it. It's so badass, they're just like. Pushing a stormtrooper off the fucking cliff there with the force powers. Whee! It was pretty cool. Shit like this is pretty good. That's why I like Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I know I'm swearing a lot, but who cares? I'm not fucking uh, politically correct and I don't care to be. But what I care about is this game. This game has a good, unique set of enemies there. Very nice diversity in enemies. Not really like generic there. It's actually a good set of enemies. They got a whack load of enemies in here that are pretty good. Very good enemies in this game. You've got a lot. An ass load of enemies. You got some. You got your stolen troopers. You got your uh, your jedis. You got some different enemies there. You got a whole a whole wide variety of enemies too. You got you're fighting undead people too. You know, 
fighting some creatures, you're fighting a wide variety of characters. This game is awesome. I don't care if anyone says there, this is the best game I've played so far. This is one of the best games I've played in a while there. I know I played uh I know I played Days Gone and enjoyed this one enjoyed that one, but I enjoyed this one even more too because I just enjoyed this one as well because for one it's a Star Wars game and it's what people come to see, expect because it's Star Wars, Star Wars is pretty good. And it's a long long standing franchise that is way better than the friggin' uh, Rise of Skywalker movie. This is what a Star Wars game should be. Freaking fan service galore, Easter eggs references, fan series to the older lore like here. Yeah. Around uh, this game, you get a wide variety of cool. You guys a good interaction of characters. You got a little robot android falling around that's attached to your back, which is, which is pretty good. And I want to say to the viewers out there, uh, yeah, why well, I want to say to the viewers out there, thank you for watching the Star Wars video game review. I hope it was uh, pretty good. That was my piece on Star Wars and my take on it. Go try it out if you haven't tried it already. It's uh. Very amazing game, uh, very awesome, very amazing. And yeah, I will continue to review this game, and this game is going to be part after Wolfenstein New Order, just which is going to be a very good one. So, this is a game that everyone should try out. If you haven't tried it all already, go ahead, stop moping around, try it out, and start reviewing because not moping around, but you know what I mean. Just go ahead and try the game. If you haven't tried it all already, go ahead. I, I insist you. If you're a fan of Star Wars, go buy this game and snag it up. If you can get it for cheap, there, fucking go get it for cheap there because this game. If you even want to play full price for it and support Respawn Entertainment for doing a good job, there's that option too because Respawn Entertainment actually deserves their your hard earned money for this game because they did a great job. This is actually one of their best work so far. There, they, they freaking what they did with this game is so much good there. They freaking killed it all ballpark with this one. They took it. They hit it out. They hit. The, they struck. They struck the baseball field and they just fucking. They nailed it. That's my proof. That's the Killer J Retro Mod Gamer seal of approval. Because you know I don't really usually give games like initial praise like this one. And I'm gonna still play this game more often because I'm gonna keep playing it. And who knows? You might see some more reviewers coming to this review. All right, peace out and see you people later. And I want to say thank you for watching uh, Killer J Gaming. And subscribe to more content on Killer J Gaming in the near future. Or whatever the fuck you want to do. Just watch Killer J Gaming because it's going to be some good shit. So, peace out people and see you later for this next video game review on Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And I, like what else I got to say is the gameplay is pretty fun. The gameplay with your lightsaber combat is pretty good. It's very, very brutal, awesome gameplay. You can do some pretty, combo, pretty cool combo shit there. It's pretty good, so. So yeah. <coughs> so yes, this is a very good game. Go try it out. And uh, for my rating on this game, holy fuck, I, I think I should rate it. I'm just gonna give it a ten out of ten. There, this is the perfect game that I wanted to play because this is a game that felt right and felt pretty good. So all right, see you people later for the next video game review. And that review probably will be coming up in the near future. Peace out. Bye. See you later for the next video game review. Peace out. This is Mac. I'm here to wish Killer J and everyone watching this review a Happy New Year. Despite Rise of Skywalker is all over the place, let's hope for the best for the franchise. After all, The Mandalorian is pretty lit, and I can't wait for Season 2. This is Killer J here. How you doing? This is TJ. The ruler of the universe. So how is, how is things? Things are going well, thank you. How are you doing, good, sir? Pretty good. I've been enjoying my uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Nice. You can ask me questions about it. Sure. Um, what's it like regarding of the game? Well, the game is pretty fun. Like, you can do like some wall running shit, and you also can climb on the vines, grab vines with your force pull, and that there. Um, compared to other Star Wars games, is it like the other Star Wars games that you play on the PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 3? It's like Battlefront? This one's like Star Wars with lightsaber, ga lightsaber gameplay, but it's like similar to like the old school Star Wars games with the lightsaber gameplay with just what 
what Uncharted and Titanfall mechanics there when it comes to the platforming. Uh, all right. But it also has a parry how's system. The, um, how's the story though? Story's good. I I think they have like new characters, I believe, right? Yes. So what is it about? Well, it's basically about the you know uh, the new Jedi with uh, trying to stop the Ninth Sister, I believe. There, it's a pretty good story. Here, it's just like freaking, you know, you're fighting different enemies from different Star Wars uh, creatures. Not there's pretty good there. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, people are comparing it like as a Dark Souls game. I mean, do you consider it as like Dark Souls similarity? Just a tiny bit with the parry system when you're fighting these big ass bosses, but when you're fighting regular stormtroopers, it's pretty cool too. They're just there's also good deflect bullets, and you know, if, like the deflect and go out and like knock the stormtroopers back there. Ah, all right. It's not as hard as Dark Souls. It's actually playable. I actually got far far enough in it there. Alright. Would you recommend the game for 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 everyone as especially Star Wars fans? Oh yes, I would recommend it for sure. Alright, um since you're currently playing the game, what can you tell like like a bunch of beginners or or, or I guess people that are gonna start the game? Do you have any advice for them? Well so be an, be have an open mind because you know what? Uh, the game may start slow. The game starts off with all these cutscenes. You're getting, they're learning the mechanics of the jumping mechanics in the game. But uh, there is a level in this game, a, a bit one of the first mission initial levels. You get to fight on a train. You get on a fight on a train, and kill stormtroopers. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's like the best level there, or just like it's like an ending level, but as a really good, like a good start off level there. Um, are you still currently playing it though, right? Yes. Alright, alright, alright. Um, alright, that's something to definitely look forward to. I'm hoping the game, um, is it still on sale? Like, like, I, you get it on the PS4, Xbox, and PC, correct? I got on the PS4. Oh, 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 PS4? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's the main game I've been playing. Alright, alright. Ah. Alright, alright. Well, it does sound very intriguing, and um, and I guess for those who are interested in the Star Wars, can definitely try this game out. And for those who are into like the game is third person, right? Like, well, it's third person lightsaber combat. Yes. Alright, alright, alright. Um, wait. So, so like the villains, like like they still got Darth Maul. Like, well, Darth Vader's at the end of the game. There. Oh, Darth Vader, excuse me, I said Darth Vader, I'm sorry. It's okay. Alright. All right. Um, what else should we know about regarding of the game? Like, is there like any secrets? Yeah, there's any Easter eggs in the game. Easter eggs? Like what? Well, probably st stuff to call back to the old series there. Uh, alright, alright. And uh, how much would you recommend the game so far? All I recommend it is go buy it. All right, all right. Uh, I should definitely check that out as well. I've been kind of interested in getting the game, but I haven't got a chance to actually buy it yet. But it does sound very interesting. All right. Yeah. Uh, is it better than Battlefront Two percent? Oh yes, for sure. For that, that game blows <laughs> it out of the water. Oh gosh. Frig. Once you start learning the mechanics and you start doing Jedi shit, it's pretty cool, though. Alright. Anger's not the way of a Jedi. That's true. Are you like the villain or like the hero in, in the game? I like the hero. The hero's pretty cool. You're, and it's a new person, you said, right? Yeah, full person lightsaber combat. Yeah. All right. Well, it definitely sounds fun. That's for sure. Oh yeah. All right. Um. And how would you rate the game thus far? A ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. All right. 
and then it's him. All right. Yeah. So it's a must buy, basically. Yes. All right. That's something I need to check out then. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, I I think I learned a lot so far, and I'm gonna check to see if the game is still on sale, which I'm hoping it is. Oh, I got I got it for cheap me. I got on a sale because Walmart made a mistake or something like that, but I got it for cheap me. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, that's just that's just my coke cans kicking off something. <laughs> I drink a lot of Coca Cola, man. <laughs> it's the good shit. Man, I I I, I, should, I should really check this game out. And um, correct a lot of people. They're they're also saying that the game is also worth playing. I even checked it out. That made the reviews for it. The people seem very interested. Yeah, it is an interesting game because respawn entertainment made that game and they just stuck with their stuck it to their guns there. Oh yeah. It's like a middle finger to EA almost there. So, Wait, so, 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 um, so did EA not made up this game? They just published it. Respawn? It was Respawn. Oh, published it. Yeah, Respawn. Uh, respawn right, had well, it. At least there's no microtransactions. No, right? there's no microtransactions in it. Oh, thank God. It's actually, <laughs> that's why I actually like it because, you know, yeah, you actually have, you go use your robot to loot up shit, but you actually get, like, upgrades and stuff like that for lightsabers and that there. Different lightsaber skins, uh, strength and pat, strength and shit like that. There. So you don't have to pay for it. You just gotta keep playing the game, then, right? Yes, yeah, you gotta keep playing the game. Yeah, all that shit's unlockable. All right, that's something that I like to hear. Cause I don't like how how like in order to like make the game a lot easier, you have to pay for it, and and, and like I don't think that's cool. I kind of prefer the old fashioned way where you just keep playing it get the unlockable uh, achievements. Yeah. There's also a skill tree too where you can meditate like in Dark Souls where you can uh, upgrade more abilities like your force and your lightsaber and stuff like that. Uh, oh, sure, really? Yeah, there is. There's like a skill tree here too. That's even better. Yeah. So it does borrow from Dark Souls a little bit but it's actually its own game too still. So. But is it difficult or... or it's doable like, because it's not difficult. I actually got far in it there. Okay, alright. This Dark Souls is difficult, but this one's doable because you actually get your robot to help you with get little stim packs too. Alright, so... So in this thing, you just gotta be careful with the mechanics, right? Yeah, you gotta learn the mechanics and be careful what you're doing, you guys. So it's about timing then, basically, right? Yeah, pretty much. Alright, so in this case, so, so, for those who are not good at, like, uh, timing or, like, learning strategies, I, I feel like this is going to be, like, a challenge for them, but I, uh, for me, I would say just take time, because for me, when I play Souls games, like, it was difficult at first, but, but I realized that, like, the more you play it, the more you get better at it, so. Oh, yeah, for um, sure. Alright, that. I personally think that's a great way to start. Because you can also upgrade your health too and your force force abilities too. Repeat that last part? You can also upgrade your health and your for maximum force powers too. Oh, nice. And your stamina, I believe, there, stuff like that. Upgrade a bunch of shit there. That's pretty cool. It's actually one of the better Star Wars games out there for. Like what? Better than Battlefront 2 for. <laughs> oh god, everything's better than Battlefront nowadays. Yeah, everything's better than Battlefront nowadays. Oh man. I mean, like, I got Battlefront, but, but to be honest, like, I just want, like, something exactly like the new game that you mentioned, the Fallen Soul, uh, yeah, excuse me, Fallen Soul, oh, I'm sorry. Jedi Fallen Order. So, so, um, I definitely want to check that out, um, I've been kind of interested to see, like, um, 
like the way it looks. So, um, yeah, I have, uh, Who's that yeah, that's something I would definitely check out right after this. Oh yeah, for sure. And I gotta see if the game is still on sale or not, which I'm hoping it still is. Should be, for. That's why the game should be yeah. should be on sale. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, cool. I definitely learned a lot so far. Yeah, it's a good game to try. Yeah. What are you gonna say? Oh wait, I I I think. Oh. I, ugh. I think so. I think I'm sorry again. Hold on. Okay. I um. I I. I think it should work now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, I hear you perfectly now. Okay. Okay. Probably the mic went autistic mode. I don't know. I don't know, man. I know, man. Hey, this court ain't working. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, it just means that I need a new um, headphone. Yeah. Is the furries are furries are being Discord? Oh no! Is that the reason why? <laughs> yeah, that's a recent recent lie to re rating Discord. Oh no. With their well, what are they doing with this car? <laughs> <laughs> Probably put furry, furry porn on it. I forgot you're with that gross shit. Oh dear. Where's my flame for a rat? Can we just get rid of that and just put like, like, like get back to when it was originally started and gaming? I yes. Mean, you and I are definitely doing something gaming related. Oh yeah, that is it for Star Wars. See you people later. Bye. Take care.